and yet it just didn't come easily to her, no matter what she did. One day, she got to her math class, and she sat down, and about midway through the class, the teacher said those words that nobody wants to hear. Kids, it's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> she was mortified. She knew she'd studied, and yet the test got in front of her, and she didn't recognize anything on the paper. She looked at the first question, drew a blank. Second question, drew another blank. When the minutes ticked on, she kept struggling, couldn't write anything down. The bell rang, all the kids start standing up and turning on their quizzes, and she had not written one thing down. She'd never turned in a blank quiz before, so she couldn't, her legs didn't have the energy to stand up, but she didn't know what her other options were. As all the kids left the room, the strangest thing happened. The teacher did not ask for her quiz back. Instead, the teacher sort of smiled at her, acknowledging that she was still sitting there, and went back to whatever she was doing at her desk, and she let this girl keep working on the quiz for the full 15-minute recess. In the meantime, the girl's going to herself, is this fair? Nobody else got this time. Why is this teacher giving me this opportunity? And yet, because the teacher believed in her, she started to relax a little, and some of the questions started to look a little bit familiar. She answered enough of them to get a C on the quiz, which was some sort of miracle since it had been blank 15 minutes before. And that was a turning point for her. She started to feel a little more confident and a little more relaxed in her tests. She started to do a little better. And then by the end of high school, she was doing very well. She went to UCLA, got a degree in mathematics, and then she wrote a book. <laughs> Thank you. I used to be terrified of math in middle school.